Hello, welcome to Parametric House Scripts. And in this Grasshopper script tutorial, I want to show you how you can use the SubD connection cluster. Uh, so basically, uh, if I change this radius, the S radius, which is the sphere, this is going to be a radius defined by the center of these points. And it will define the base connection of the SubD uh, knots. So if I change this, you can see it's going to define this radius here. Uh, I can also define the knots radius, which is the radius for here and also the extension I can give it here and also the pipe radius if you increase the pipe radius more than the uh, knots you can see it's going to change so this cluster will help you to basically design anything after defining the radiuses I can simply double click on the solid yes and the output for the solids is going to be defined. Uh, if I bake the first BREP, for example, in the layer one, and the second BREP into layer two, and let's just go to Rhino, here you can see that this connection is completely defined in Rhino. You can have it complete a solid in Rhino. So basically this uh, cluster will help you to uh, produce a series of connections based on uh, a series of lines. So for example, if I wanted to make another one, just let's uh, take a look. For example, I'm going to make a box here and extract the edges. So to delete this and let's just go to the cluster and give the curves to the input. So I'm going to say set multiple curves. Let's just make that a little bit smaller. Uh, set multiple curves. And now I can just put that to false so I can change it faster make it a little bit smaller zoom in and now you can see that I have these connections again uh, I can uh, increase or decrease the pipe radius so the connection is going to change something like that uh, I can increase or decrease the extension I want you can even just delete an edge if you can even delete an edge if you want to and you can see it's going to give you another new connection here. Uh, to again make the solids, I can simply just double click on the solid yes, true, and then the input is going to be here for the solid one, bake it in layer one, and also bake this into layer two. And now you can see that you have these connections and Rhino. The algorithm is for those who want to explore the definition. So if I open it in Grasshopper, uh, you can see the base script and Grasshopper algorithm. It's uh, completely organized so you can understand what's happening and uh, you can use it in your projects. Remember that you can get the input here in the curve section and every input has been also explained by the title. Uh, finally, you will get the outputs as two solids. If you open up the example file folder, uh, you can see that we have three example files and each of them has a cover. If you open up uh, this in Grasshopper, for example, you can see that we have that exact uh, number sliders and the solids in Grasshopper. Also the second example file, as you can see here, and the third example file, as you can see, it's a connection, uh, which you can change if you want to. You can bake it in Rhino, for example and right click, set multiple curves, select the curves. And as you can see here, uh, we can change the location of this point and get the updates. So you can also bake it and set it again if you want to change uh, the results. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this Grasshopper script is useful. Just let us know in the comments, what do you think? Is it useful for your projects? And if you have any suggestions or future requests, just let us know in the comment section or on our website. See you next time. Bye.